Hi, um, thank you for calling customer service. My name is Warren. How can I help you today? Hey, your internet is not working. I work from home. My internet sucks! to my channel my little ladybugs i know you miss me you freaking miss me and i apologize because it's been months since the last time i've uploaded my last video pero um ang dami dami na rin kasing nag-request na warren baka naman ganyan kala mo naman kasikatan ko kung maka-request mga hita Anyway, so welcome back again to my channel i'm so happy that you are still keep on supporting all my videos Totally appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Of course, we are still going to talk about anything under call center, okay? So, um, we're gonna have a series. So, this videos that I'll be posting from now on, we're gonna be talking about, um, about call flow, you know? So, when I say call flow, different parameters that we're looking for whenever we are trying to make customer service call, right? So, um, kapag may paltawag na customer, Ano ba yung mga dapat nating sabihin? How are we gonna do those things effectively? So for today, um, we are gonna talk about empathy. So um, empathy is very important whenever you are making a call um, or whenever customers are calling in. So um, first of all, let's def let's try to define first what do we mean by empathy. Okay. Um, empathy in a call center is just pretty much the same with the empathy that we are supposed to be applying in any type of relationship. So um, when you say empathy um, in layman's term or in a more shallow explanation is when um, let's say for example you have a friend and then that friend has a problem tapos nilapitan ka niya, um, this friend is actually expecting for you to empathize to them. So empathy means um, they are expecting for you to understand what they feel. Kung baga parang, ay talaga ba may problema ka? Alam mo na intindihan kita kasi na experience ko na rin yan dati and hindi nga talaga siya maganda sa pakiramdam. Talagang dadamdamin mo yan, ganyan ganyan. Pero as a friend, nandito naman ako for you. Yung mga, ga yung mga ganyan, yung mga kahit basta. <laughs> That's what an empathy is all about, okay? So it actually plays a very big role um, in a call center world. So, um, ano ba yung mga benefits ng pag empathize natin kay, kay la customers? Uh, so first, of course, it helps to deliver a positive customer service. So syempre, kung ikaw, customer, let's say, may complain ka about sa, sa fried chicken na binili mo, di ba? Tapos, uh, pumunta ka sa manager. Okay, so the, the very first thing that the manager should do Kasi nagre-reklamo ka kasi may issue yung fried chicken na binili mo. Baka may bulati, okay? May buning bato yung, yung fried chicken. Siyempre, um, the manager, of course, would would want to to emphasize to you first, okay? Baga parang, um, don't worry, uh, I totally understand where you're coming from, Warren. If I am also a customer and I would see something like this on my fried chicken, of course, I would definitely be upset, okay? So, by doing that, um, the manager was able to to show you or to show to the customer that they they understand what they feel. They know where this customer is coming from. Um, next, also, it's for our customers to feel that they are more than just a number. Okay, so um, of course we don't want our customers to feel that the reason why they want uh, we want them to be part of our business is just for us to 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 gain profit from them. No, we want them to also feel that um, it's not just about the profit it's also all about giving them what they deserve even what is more than what they deserve and we're talking about customer service and also providing a genuine empathy and it also demonstrates sincerity For if you are trying to empathize to your customers it means that you are sincerely um, understanding where they are coming from so um, on the next 
parts of the call that you're about to do would be easier for um, your customer to absorb because they know that you are with them. All right, so how do we actually do empathy, okay? So empathy usually comes on the first part of the call, okay? So of course, we want to to, to make our customers feel that we understand them before we, we do troubleshootings about their concerns, before we, we, we offer whatever we want to offer to them. So the very first um, expectation from you to do is for you to acknowledge what they feel, okay? So acknowledgement, okay? So um, you have to let them feel that you've acknowledged, you understood what what their concern is. Let's say for example that you are a customer support representative for internet connection issues. So yung mga papasok lang na tawag sa is just about internet connection issues. So if that's the case, tapos yung pag, pag sagot mo, yung customer ang issue niya is sa cable. Let's say may, cab may cable issues din siya, nawawalan siya ng channel, ganyan ganyan. So before before you let them know that, okay, I don't care about your concern, it's not part of my scope, ganyan, ganyan. you are still within the same company, okay? So you have to, to embody the, the customer or the, the business that you are in. So you have to empathize first. So I totally understand where you're coming from, Mr. Customer. Um, I'm also a cable user as well myself. Um, however, regarding that, I'll be connecting you over to our cable technical support team for them to be able to fully assist you with your concern. So, um, right after the acknowledgement, what do you, um, what's expected now from you to do is um, for you to to show them what are your plans on resolving their concern. Hindi po pwedeng puro ka lang kuda ng kuda, kaka-empathy mo. At the end of the call, hindi mo naman pala resolve yung concern, di ba? So, um, the customer would also want to 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 know what do you what do they expect as you move along with the call okay so after your acknowledgement might as well tell them that okay so um we are gonna do some troubleshooting for us to be able to fix your internet connection okay so hindi maganda kasi nagheads up mo natay sa customers what are we are planning to do before we actually do it okay next um that's actually just the way on how you do it on the first part of the call you know when you're trying to empathize to your customers but did you know that sometimes okay sometimes building rapport is also one of our metrics that we have to do it provides a good customer service when we build rapport okay when you say build rapport more on um you know i'm um, talking about something that is not even part of the call okay let's say nakabustahin mo yung mga customer mo ganyan ganyan and in order for you to fully empathize to your customer you can also use that in order for you to build rapport okay so let's say um nagtatry kang mag mag diag to do run some diagnostics on the customer's internet connection on their end kung baka may uh, system down or something like that so while you're waiting for your system to load okay you can actually try to talk them about their concern or you can um show them more how important connection is for you as well as the agent uh, by doing that of course you are not just being able to to connect to the customer or you're not just being able to 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 show empathize but you are also um, connecting more to your customers what you can say is while while your system is loading is you know what um, I'm actually working from home as well and every time my internet is going down mm, I'm not gonna be able to get my salary for that day. So I really understand uh, Mr. Customer where you are coming from. Um, have you been working for school quite some time now from home? So um, you were able to show empathy and also build rapport to your customer, okay? So um, building rapport to your customer plays also a big role for them to provide a good feedback, okay? Or a good survey Sayo. okay um lastly okay the very last advice that i can probably give is for your for you to ensure that your tone of voice is perfect with all the spells that you're trying to do okay so in a, in a ppo world of course we are just making all our communications over the phone your customers cannot see your face so therefore um, they will only base everything on your tone of voice because sometimes no matter how good your lines are if your tone of voice is not genuine it'll be useless you guys okay 
um, let's say, alam mo naman kung paano mag-acknowledge. Alam mo naman kung paano ilahad kay customer yung mga plans mo, okay? You know how to build rapport to your customers. However, you sound like you're just reading all your scripts. It's gonna be useless, okay? So, mas mabuti ng, I understand, Mr. Customer, where you're coming from, but I will do my best for me to be able to help your internet connection and fix this right after we end the call, okay? Kesa naman sa ang dami mong acknowledgement na I'm also an internet connection user as well myself and um, I know where you're coming from um, but I will troubleshoot your internet connection and have you seen the difference? Have you seen the difference? Ang dami kong sinabi, no? magpa-ayla naman. So, that's it. So, <laughs> that's it for today. Um, oh, I love this topic, empathy, okay? So, um, please, um, just, you know, a quick recap of everything that we've done. Um, when you're doing your empathy, you have to show acknowledgement, okay? You you have to acknowledge where they're coming from. Second is for you to show them what are your plans on resolving their concern. Next, you can also um, use this for you to be able to build rapport in, in order for you to also connect more to your customers. And lastly, but not the least, this is actually the most important, which is the tone of voice, okay? So you have to ensure that your tone of voice is applicable to your customer's emotion. Minsan kasi, ang saya-saya ng, ang taas ng energy mo, yung customer mo, sobrang lungkot. Dapat ibabagay mo rin siya, or imi-mirror mo siya sa customer's um emotional stability okay so again sounds cliche but you really have to put yourself on your customers shoes in order for you to do all these tip uh, all these tips that i gave so um that's it for today you guys okay so i am so happy that i have finally been able to make another video for you guys um i will try my best for me to create videos on a weekly basis. Kumpletohin natin lahat to. Kumpletohin natin lahat ng mga uh, parameters when you're doing your call over the phone. Uh, this is also to help other bagong employees lang sa call center. <laughs> Kasi nung, nung bago ako noon, medyo hirap din ako noon. Eh. So this is for me to be able to share all the experiences that I've had from the past. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you've learned something. So, sa mga hindi pa subscribe, please subscribe on this channel uh, para magkapair na. Char! <laughs> so, um, please subscribe on this channel and also, I have my Facebook account on uh, the comment box below. I also have my Instagram account if you want to follow me. If you guys have any questions, um, you can also message me on my Facebook account about and anything about Call Center, okay? So, Thank you all so much to all your support. Really appreciate everything. And see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ganda mo.